We may not all be able to afford headsets with eye tracking, but thanks to Vive's facial tracker, we can at least get our avatar's mouth to be more animated. No, you definitely do not need a facial tracker, but if you are really into social VR experiences or anything involving avatars, it can really bring your facial expressions to life in a cool way. Just like with the body trackers though, it doesn't come cheap, so mine came in at around $130. The facial tracker will work best with any headset that has a USB port built into it. It's meant to pair with the HTC Vive Pro series, but it can also work on a Valve Index like my daily driver here or with the Quest 2. With the Quest 2 though, this will only work with SteamVR applications. It will not work with anything Quest native, just like the full body trackers. I also don't really recommend it for the Quest 2 because you need to find some long adapters or extension cables, but I'll get more into that later. Mounting solutions and hardware stuff will be discussed first for the Index and Quest. Then I'll show you how to set up software and some applications that you can use with this. If you're going to be using this with an Index, you're going to need a 3D printed mount, which I'll link files to in the description below. Although I initially tested and filmed with this mount, I actually prefer this styled mount as it seems to hold in place better. The first one is a little sensitive and will probably need some sort of adhesive Velcro or double-sided tape or something to keep it snug in the front. You're also going to need a short USB Type-C female to USB Type-A male adapter so that you can actually plug it into the front. For a Quest, you're going to have a couple of challenges. First, you have to MacGyver a solution of attaching the mount to your headset, keeping in mind not to obstruct the sensors or the volume button. Second, since your Quest does not have a USB port on it, the USB-C end will need to be plugged into your PC and not your Quest. So you'll either need a long USB-C extension cable if you have the port for it, or if not, then a long USB-C to USB adapter. The Vive Facial Tracker needs to be plugged in in order to be used, so there's no way it can be used wirelessly. I did a test of this with the Quest running through Virtual Desktop though, and I can confirm that it works, which isn't too surprising considering it's still attached to your PC. On the software side, you're going to need to download and install the Vive Tracker software, which I'll include a link to in the description below. The first time you run SteamVR, you may need to manually run the SR Runtime. Simply type SR Runtime in your Windows search bar to find it. With it launched, if you look in your system tray, you'll see a little robot face, and the colors actually mean different things. If it's plugged in and the robot's mouth is black, that means it's not being detected. Try flipping the USB-C side that goes into the adapter the other way, and most of the time, that will fix this. If the robot's mouth is orange, that means the tracker is idle. It's ready to go, but not being used by any software at the moment. And green means it's currently active and tracking. There are several apps that support the Vive Facial Tracker. To make use of the Facial Tracker, you need an avatar that has the necessary blend shapes to visualize your facial movements. Not all avatars are rigged for this. I found that Vroid and Ready Player Me avatars, like the one I'm currently using here, have these blend shapes in case you want a quick and easy avatar to mess around with. I used Live for all of the talking head portions in this video, but you can also add your avatar into any game that has the Live SDK added to it. For the full list, you can head over to live.tv slash games. Launch Live, then select under the general settings whether you want to launch the avatar menu via Circle on the Floor or Steam VR Dashboard. Then head over to Avatars under PC VR and click Launch. To enable the Vive Facial Tracker, simply head into the avatar menu at the far bottom under Limb Toggles. Make sure you select Vive Face Tracker. Live uses VRM or avatar file formats, but of course, also make sure that the avatar you're using is rigged to work with a facial tracker. If you're curious to know more about Live's avatar solutions, I've made videos in the past, so feel free to check those out for more information. You can also use the Vive Facial Tracker in Neos VR. With SR Runtime and Neos Running, we can first make sure it's actually working by testing a couple of the ready-to-go face tracking avatars they have available. First, bring up the giant menu and go to Inventory, Neos Essentials, Avatars, Face Tracking Ready, and select one of these avatars. Once they spawn, you can click on them and select Equip Avatar. 
I'm gonna pop up the camera so I can see myself and bam it looks like the face tracking is working I don't have a custom face tracking avatar in NEOS, but if you did want to add face tracking support to an existing avatar, drag your FBX or GLTF file into NEOS by either literally dragging and dropping it onto the NEOS window or by using the in-game menus file browser. Select the avatar creator in the main menu, put the headset and hands where you'd like appropriately, but also make sure setup face tracking is checked before you click create. To get this working in VR chat, you'll need to grab this VRC face tracking file over on GitHub, which you'll find a link to in the description below. This page's README also has a handy template you can use to add face tracking to your own avatar for those of you with more experience or the willingness to create your own. First, download and install the app. Uh, if a Windows warning pops up, just click more and run anyway. Run Steam VR and launch VR chat. If you just installed the VRC face tracking app and are having issues running Steam VR, you might have to restart your PC first. Certain avatars will have the VRC face tracking icon on them, indicating that they do support the Vive facial tracker. When you see an avatar you like, simply select it and it should, for the most part, work right away. You might have to mess with some settings in your handheld menu on your right hand. For example, make sure that OSC is enabled. You might also notice that if you don't have an eye tracker, the avatar's eyes will be closed. To fix this, go to expressions in the radial menu and disable eye tracking. Some avatar creators will also include an open eye option, so just dig around in this menu until you find what you need. There's a couple of worlds where you can find facial tracking supported avatars to test with, such as Jerry's mod, uh, face tracker avatar hangar hangout. I'll add links in the description below, but I'd also love to hear if there's any more out there. I found that for some reason some avatars just won't work with it despite having the VRC face tracking app icon and others just make the app crash. This might be due to the fact that they're all rigged differently, but hopefully somebody more knowledgeable can respond about this in the comments below. But just know that with all the avatars out there and different creation styles and rigging, your mileage may vary. And that's it. That's all I have. Hope this helps, and I'm looking forward to seeing many of you with more animated avatars. If you know of any more apps that support the Vive Facial Tracker or any tips for finding or creating avatars that support it, please feel free to comment them below. And as always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.